All righty, happy Tuesday. It's uh, August 20th. Uh, we're Hebrews chapter 12, verses 4 to 13. I'm going to try to read it uh, just straight through this time without any, any of my own grammatical errors. But here we go. In struggling against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And you have forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as sons. My son, do not take the Lord's discipline lightly or lose heart when you are reproved by him, for the Lord disciplines the one he loves and punishes every son he receives. So endure suffering as discipline. God is dealing with you as sons. For what son is there that a father does not discipline? But if you are without discipline, which all receive, Then you are illegitimate children and not sons. And furthermore, we had human fathers discipline us and we respected them. Shouldn't we submit even more to the Father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time based on what seemed good to them, but he does it for our benefit so that we can share his holiness. No discipline seems enjoyable at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore, strengthen your tired hands and weakened knees and make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame may not be dislocated but healed instead. Now, that's just through verse 12. So, today we're looking at this this idea of discipline. And, 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 and how it relates to the word obedience. See, I love that word discipline. Uh, I love the word disciple. The word disciple des- derives from the same root word as discipline. See, we have just, uh, we, we, we've just been, been, how do I word this? We, we need to expect struggle. We've just been told that we are in a struggle. Struggling against sin in a fallen and broken world is normal and to be expected, okay? That's what I want you to hear. Struggling against sin in a broken and fallen world is normal and is to be expected. Struggling because of sin is to be expected. If we're reading this passage and, and this devotional this morning, then, then we have, have uh, not struggled to the point of death as Jesus did. So we must understand why we must struggle. See, that kind of sounds <laughs> like a complex sentence. We need to understand why we struggle. God says we're to view struggle as discipline. Discipline is a process of learning and education. Discipline is instruction. We learn discipline by following the one we are to learn from. We follow Jesus and we learn from him. We observe others who have been faithful and learn from them. As we understand what God our Father expects, we obey. See, God sets before us an expectation and we learn it. We struggle with sin and we struggle with self. We, we, we struggle as we seek to follow the examples that have been set for us. When we fail as disciples, as learner followers, We experience discipline. God desires our obedience. So we learn and we obey. We'll see you tomorrow.